most expensive dinner you took at Dito? Uh, I, I'd say about 200 bucks. Take your teammates out to your place. How much was the bill? I, I think, uh, you know, and I get I get the owner's rate too, you know, so uh, yeah, after all that, it was, it was right around 1400 1400 bucks. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. Okay, so if it wasn't the owner's rate, how much would that bill be? <laughs> <laughs> It'd be up probably around uh, over two grand. They didn't leave hungry at all, and uh, they even had some stuff to take back to the room, so that's good. <laughs> But Pierce didn't balk at the final price tag. After all, his teammates' full stomachs led them to victory in Winnipeg. He also didn't turn down the owner's rate. Pierce may have returned to Winnipeg wearing orange, but he was still welcomed with open arms at his Winnipeg-based barbecue restaurant just weeks after he was traded back to BC. The loyalty remains despite Pierce's new colors. A trip to the Grey Cup in 2011 is still fresh enough on the minds of Bombers fans to make this reunion a positive one. Pierce is banking on that with this new venture. No matter how much money you make, uh, you know, football is a, is, is a gift that's given to you and, and it can be taken away, you know, very fast. So it's always important just, just to be thinking, you know, um, whatever it is you want to do or, or whatever it is you're passionate it about, you know, make sure that you go down that road and you, uh, you know, look at your options and, and see what's out there for you. With an eye on the future, Pierce added the restaurant to his resume and it turns out the restaurant business isn't much different than the game of football. I've learned a lot in the first uh, in the first year, um, you know. But, but it's all about you know having good people on your side. Um, you know, you're only as good as as the team you you know you surround yourself with. We have a great GM, um, you know, great staff, and that that allows me to you know now be in BC and and, and play for a different organization, uh, you know, thousands of miles away, and not worry about you know what's going on here. What would Buck get? What would you get? And just like a good quarterback, he knows when to hand off the ball. I've cleaned maybe two or three dishes and <laughs> waited on, on probably the same number of tables. Not many. They try and keep me out of it. You know, they, they don't let me touch anything. I, I, uh, I'd probably end up costing them more money by dropping dishes and spilling food on people.